Okay, Jeff Grubb here, and I am here with, if I can reach it, PlayStation TV. Um, you know, you can see the box right here. I'm not going to unbox it because I already took the stuff out. I'm not going to put it back in just to show you what it's like to take out. But uh, here's what you need to know. It comes with, comes with the power cord, comes with HDMI, comes with, uh, if you get the $140 version, it comes with the DualShock 3 um, and an 8 gigabyte memory card and the Lego movie video game. I have the hundred dollar version. Doesn't come with any of that extra shit. So uh, Sony sent me with the, the this with this review unit uh, a sixteen gigabyte PlayStation Vita memory card. Um, and I guess let's kind of get right into it. Here is the PlayStation TV itself. In Japan, it's called the Vita TV. Uh, there's a reason it's called the Vita TV. I, I don't know why they don't call it that here because this is a PlayStation Vita. It has the same innards, the same, you know, the computer components of a PlayStation Vita. Just doesn't have a screen, doesn't have the buttons, you plug it into your TV. Um, I think the best way to put it is, and uh, a friend put it like this, it's the natural evolution of a Game Boy player. Um, you plug it right into your TV, and it's going to just give you the same experience that you're going to get with the Vita. Um, so let, let's take a look at the physical device itself. It might look bigger when I'm holding it up there, but trust me, it's small. For comparison... Here is a Nexus 5, 5-inch screen. Right next to it, this is the Vita TV. You can see how much smaller the profile is. It is thicker, however, and that is because of the ports on the back. Again, you're plugging this into your TV, so you're going to need all these things. Uh, let's go over them right now. There's the power button. Uh, well, let me show you the front real quick. Sony. Over here is a little white LED light. When you plug it in, you can see it's on. You can use that to see it's on. So, Here's power. Here's USB, HDMI. Ethernet, and then the power input. Right here, the one I skipped, that is the PlayStation Vita memory card port. You're going to need the proprietary same card that you use with the Vita. I, again, I have the 16 gigabyte one in there. Uh, you're going to need it because you're going to be downloading games, you're going to be saving games. Uh, I don't think this has any internal memory, just like the Vita. So you're, you're going to need one of those, and those can get expensive. Um, again, like a Game Boy player, it has a slot for the actual physical games. Um, it's actually really nice. You can see here, there's a little spot where you dig your fingernail in and you open it up. You put the games in. I have MLB 14 to show in there right now. And it, yeah, it's just super nice. It's super clean. It slots right in there. This cover goes right back on. You can't even tell it's there. And that's, I mean, that's one of the best parts. It's just so small and clean and out of the way. It's not going to make a big mess. You know, it's not a big box like the Ouya. I mean, the Ouya is small, but like it's just got this big, ugly you know, profile. And this is just so... It looks like a just a tiny little device that's not going to be ugly or mess anything up. All right. So now I want to talk about what it's like to use it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I mentioned yet, but originally for this video, I wanted to capture everything. I wanted to you know, hook this up to my capture card and show you guys what it, the user interface looks like. But the PlayStation TV does have HDCP, so there's ways around that. I, I don't have I don't have the splitter to do figure that out right now, so I'm just going to talk about what it's like. Um, let's start with the with the actual interface. So the Vita TV or the Vita itself has a touchscreen. Obviously, the, play, the Vita PlayStation TV does not. So you would think that might cause some issues where you're supposed to touch on the screen to navigate around the menus or whatever. It doesn't. Sony figured that out. You just use the controller for everything. It works just fine. Um, you can use a DualShock 3. I used DualShock 4. Surprisingly, I haven't come in any situations where this works. The touchpad like it doesn't really uh, act as the touchscreen. Um, I guess that makes sense. It'd be, with the touchscreen, you are just touching on the physical thing that you can, or the, the image that you see. With this, you would just be kind of guessing blind, and that would be frustrating. But the good news is Sony's figured it out. You don't, you're don't. you not going to come across a situation where you, you, you need the touch screen. You just press the start button when it tells you to swipe or something like that. Um, for example, MLB 14, the show. When you start that game up, it tells you swipe to begin the game. Um, you know, I was like, uh-oh, here it is. Here's the problem. I'm not going to even be able to play this game. You know, you just press the start button. It gets, gets right going. It was fine. Or options on PS4. This controller. Stupid thing. Um... Beyond that, I just started playing Vita games. You know, I had the MLB The Show. I had a few other things. It plays all the Vita games. It plays, let's see here. Like They have a whole list. PlayStation Classics. I downloaded Vagrant Story. Started that up. Uh, using PlayStation Now, 
let's see here. The service is coming October 14th, so today. Um, I haven't had a chance to try this out yet. I will. I'll, I'll report back. Um, it's just coming out today. I don't even think I, I could download it yet. Uh, but with that, you could play, you know, rent PlayStation 3 games just like you can on PlayStation 4. Um, then, PlayStation 4 games via remote play, just like the Vita. Um, this did not work for me. Let's let's just get right into it. This is the first big issue. Uh, I have my PlayStation 4 downstairs hooked up to my family room TV, uh, and that is connected via an Ethernet. Upstairs, I have another TV, and I plugged the, the PlayStation TV in up there, and I connected that to my network over Wi-Fi. Uh, that didn't work. The the playing PlayStation 4 games over remote play uh, about 10 yards away, uh, you know, the way the bird flies, and then maybe like a, you know, a little bit for like twice that long if you have to consider all the, like go the signal going around the walls or whatever. Um, it was choppy. It was pixelated. Uh, there was a lot of noise. On top of that, there was a half second delay with the controls. Uh, I tried Tomb Raider, Definitive Edition, or whatever it's called. Tried Shadow of Mordor. Uh, both games were unplayable because of the delay, more than anything else. Uh, you, your mileage is going to vary. You're going to have a different situation, a different router. Maybe you have a, the way to hook up a, a PlayStation TV over Ethernet you know, in your other room. I, I, that option's not available to me. I couldn't test that out. I bet that would work a lot better. But, uh... For now, uh, the, the big reason that I wanted it is to be able to play PlayStation 4 games on my other TV without having to move the PlayStation 4, and I don't, I don't think that's going to work for me. Um, I, I'll test out other routers, but for now, it's just it's a disappointing experience. Uh, all the other games, though, they work great. Uh, PlayStation 3, uh, that, you know, well, the PlayStation 3 games, I'll test those out later. I'm sorry, PlayStation 1, uh, the, those classics, Vagrant Story was fun, and I played that for about an hour. Um, I played Vita games, I played Spelunky, I got all my, I, I hooked up my PlayStation Network account, immediately started downloading all my other free games that I already have, uh, the cross-buy games, things like that, it was, you know, it was, it was fine, it works great, it's, um, it is a Game Boy player, but the natural evolution, you know, you also have the ability to, to stream games, you can stream movies, uh, so, Sony, Inter Sony Entertainment Network, I don't, it always trips me up, I just want to talk about PlayStation Network, but they changed the name, um, you know, that has the options to, to buy movies, to rent movies. You can get Netflix, you can get Amazon. All those things work just fine. Uh, I imagine that if you if you buy this box, maybe you're going to want that stuff. Uh, if you don't already have, like, four other boxes to do it. Uh, and, and it all works. Um, it's hard to say that it's that this system is worth it right now. I think if you already have a Vita, if you're already doing remote play with that and it works, and you want this also for some reason, I, I mean, go for it. I think, but it's it's tough right now with it with, P, with the PS4 remote play not working for me. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other details, any other things I can go over. Um, it's I'm just trying to get it, uh, trying to explain what it is because I think a lot of people might be confused. It comes here as the PlayStation TV. They really should have called it the Vita TV. I think that would clear things up because on the screen it's just like a big Vita screen now. Uh, it uses the same menus, same buttons. Um, same same navigation. It, it, it is just the uh, Vita TV. If you could plug a Vita into your TV, this is the exact same thing that you would get. Um, so I'm going to, this video, I'm going to embed it in my article, also about PlayStation TV. So if you have any questions, you can come there, ask in the comments, uh, ask in the comments below. I, I will try to have a bullet pointed list in the article for those of you that didn't want to sit through this whole thing, although I'm telling you now you already have. Um, it's if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll try. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if you want me to test anything out, I'll I'll do that as well. I'm gonna try to get the HDCP thing figured out so that we can get some videos up of what it looks like to play. Um, but yeah, so the, I guess that does it. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, Jeff Grubb for Games Beat with the PlayStation TV. Thank you. I'll see you next time.